Ngayon, pag-uusapan natin how to find the domain and range of a rational function. So, unahin natin yung pagkuha ng domain. Paano ba kukuha yung domain sa isang rational function? So, as you can see, sa isang rational function, meron tayong numerator and denominator. Ang gagawin lang natin dito, ay gumamit tayo ng value na ipapalit natin sa variable x para maging undefined yung function natin. At para maging undefined yung sagot natin, kailangan maging zero yung ating denominator. At yung value ng x kung kailan naging zero yung denominator na yun, yun ang hindi kasama sa domain ng isang rational function. So, dito sa ating given, ano kaya yung value ng x na ipapalit natin para maging zero yung ating denominator? Okay. So, let us try say negative 2. Negative 2 minus 2 over negative 2 plus 2. So, negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. Over negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So, dito naging 0 yung ating denominator. Therefore, ang ating function ay undefined. Okay. So, ano ngayon yung magiging domain? Domain is equal to x is an element of real numbers such that x is not equal to negative 2. So, ano ibig sabihin nito? Any value is included in the solution except negative 2. Okay, tingnan natin yung sunod na example. So, meron tayo dito f of x is equal to x plus 2 over x squared minus 9. So, kung titignan natin yung ating denominator, x squared minus 9. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? Kung ano man yung value ng x, Multiplied by itself, then minus 9. So, dito, ano kaya yung value ng x para maging 0 yung denominator na to? Okay. So, x plus 2 over x squared minus 9. Ipalit natin yung 3. 3 plus 2 over 3 squared minus 9. So, 3 plus 2 is 5 over 3 squared is 9 minus 9. So, 5 over 9 minus 9 is 0. Therefore, our function is undefined. Okay, so aside from positive 3, meron pa tayong pwedeng gamitin value para maging 0 yung ating denominator. So, aside from 3, pwede natin gamitin yung negative 3. So, it is equal to negative 3 plus 2 over negative 3 squared minus 9. Okay. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1 over negative 3 squared is negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 minus 9 is equal to negative 1 
over 9 minus 9 is 0. Therefore, our function is also undefined. Okay? Okay. So, ano yun yung magiging domain natin? Domain is equal to x is an element of real numbers such that x is not equal to positive 3 and x is not equal to negative 3. So any value except positive 3 and negative 3 is included in our domain. Sinod naman natin ngayon yung pagkuha ng range of irrational function. Pero bago natin makuha yung range of irrational function, kailangan muna natin uh, gawin yung inverse ng given function. So, kukuha rin yung, yung kanyang inverse function. So, meron tayong three steps on how to find the inverse of the given function. First, Write the function in the form y is equal to f of x. So meaning, papalitan lang natin yung f of x ng y. Second, interchange the x and y variables. So yung x, papalitan natin ng y. At yung y, papalitan natin ng x. Then the last step is solve for y in terms of X. So, pagkatapos natin uh, nagawa yung pagpapalit ng X and Y variables, kailangan na natin solve yung Y. Okay. So, ang unang gagawin natin ay papalitan natin ng Y yung F of X. So, that is the first step. So, from F of X, gagawin natin Y. So, this is equal to X minus 2 over x plus 2. Second, interchange x and y variables. So, yung y, papalitan natin ng x. Tapos, yung mga x dito, papalitan natin ng y. So, y minus 2 over y plus 2. Ngayon, yung last step, so, solve natin yung y in terms of x. So, paano gagawin natin? So first, gagamitin natin yung tinatawag na multiplication or cross multiplication. Huh? So yung x, multiply natin dito sa binomial na to. So that is x times the quantity y plus 2. So it is equal to y minus 2. Okay? Pagkatapos nun, Dito sa left side ng equation natin, gagamitin natin yung tinatawag na distributive property. So, i-distribute natin yung x dito sa binomial na to. So, x times y is xy. x times 2 is positive 2x. is equal to y minus 2. Okay. Ngayon, pagsamahin natin sa isang side yung may y variables. So, x, y. So, yung y dito sa kabila, ililipat natin sa kabilang side. So, magiging from positive y, magiging negative y. is equal to. So, yung 2x naman dito sa left side, dadali natin sa right side. So, from positive 2x, magiging negative 2x minus 2. Ngayon, tingnan natin ngayon yung left side. Dahil uh, ang gagawin natin is result natin yung value ng y. So, kailangan natin i-factor itong binomial na ito. Nakukuha ni natin yung common binomial factor niya which is y. So, ilalabas natin si y times the quantity x minus 1. Okay. 
check natin. Y times X is XY. Y times negative 1 is negative Y. Is equal to negative 2X minus 2. Ngayon, lagay lang natin. Divide both sides of the equation by X minus 1. Okay? So, makakancel na to. So, matitira na lang is Y. Is equal to negative 2x minus 2 over x minus 1. Okay, so, yung nakuha natin kanina, y is equal to negative 2x minus 2 over x minus 1. So, ang gagawin natin para maipakita na inverse function siya, papalitan lang natin yung y ng f inverse of x is equal to negative 2x Minus 2 over x minus 1. So, ngayon, ready na tayo para kuhanin yung range of the given function. So, paano? Kailangan pa rin natin gawing 0 yung ating denominator para maging undefined yung sagot natin. At yung value na ipapalit natin sa x, ito yung tinatawag nating value na hindi kasama sa range. Okay? So, paano gagawin natin? Papalitan lang natin yung x na to ng additive inverse ng constant term which is negative 1. So, ano yung additive inverse ng negative 1? Pag kasi nabing additive inverse, ito yung opposite sign ng given term. So, kung negative 1 yan, ang ipapalit lang natin ay positive 1. So, magiging negative 2x times 1 minus 2 over 1 minus 1. So, yung x, pinalitan lang natin ng positive 1. So, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 minus 2 over 0. So, that is negative 4 over 0. So, ang sagot natin dito is undefined. Okay? So, ano yung magiging range natin ngayon? So, our range is given by y is an element of real number such that y is not equal to na pinalit natin sa x kanina, 1. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, any value except positive 1 is included in our range.